poet. <laughs> I was an unparalleled poetic vision. And I'm going to share you, share with you some of these jewels. Or do you guys, if any of you are in my panels, you know the story here, right? Yes. I am not a tool. <laughs> I am not a tool. But I am blind. These are my only glasses. I will be reading my cool teen poetry. <laughs> wearing my shade. <laughs> or there is no other way. I, uh, I'm not reading something from my... Uh, my feminist poetry magazine, Madness This, based on the Emily Dickinson poem, Could This Be Madness This? And I have to tell you, yes, this could be madness. I am not sharing the, uh, for the essay I put in there that begins, I smelt of strawberry for you. <laughs> But I think you should know that smelt should always be spelled with a T. <laughs> there, I said it. I will give you my early reflections on writing. Just a few lines so you can understand what we're dealing with here. Uh, uh, from my early work, A Dilemma, I'm tired of having a fertile imagination. I have an erect pen and need to learn verbal contraception. <laughs> this most illegible fornication is not in keeping with the word of wisdom in my real family, but then apparently neither is abortion. <laughs> Just so you know what we're dealing with here, that is what we are dealing with. <laughs> about the creative act, let me tell you, as I told my friend John Green earlier, I'll sing the fire songs. In case you wonder, I'll sing the fire songs, songs that steam and sting, hissing as I amble them into your cool snow. That's right. Uh, I can't even go on because I have no idea what any of this means. I'll give you one more sentence so you know. Okay, so you know how incomprehensible it gets. Okay, I've just I've just ambled my fire song into your snow. That's where we were. Piecemeal dozens number off. Lumbering gypsies in their odd assemblage, crowding closer now, they feel each other's faces in the, in the babbling dark, the gift of tongues. Swallowed dry heaving out what I could not myself ingest. They tumble fly, grab crackly fistfuls of my weathered hair. What's wrong with my hair? I mean, I a 17 year old weathered hair. Uh, and pull, hard as a man. Hard as a babe, a milky, emphatic fist. And I, howling, yes, howling, <laughs> pierce their soft spots. I think I'm talking about words still. Pierce their soft spots, nail them neatly to the page.